Hello, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Welcome back to anybody uh, joining my stream, watching this later. Uh, my name is Mike. I've been doing a variety of things on this channel. <laughs> uh, Mike Rocker 68. Uh, we've been playing recently Colonist, the board game, Catan. Um, played some Spider Man, PS4, Miles Morales coming soon. Um, been playing some stardew valley i have some halo play on here phasmophobia some vr games but today i thought i would do something a little bit differently i've been mentioning i wanted to do it let's see if it focuses it's backwards i know bandai released a 112th scale plastic model kit clone trooper uh i'm not a big big model builder by any means but uh, I thought this would be really fun uh, and cool to try. I had done one of these before. My friends last year for our Life Day party. We are Star Wars nerds. We do Life Day every year. Uh, it's our annual celebration. Uh, we get together and we watch the Christmas special. They got me this amazing. I have not painted it or anything yet. Uh, ATSE Walker. So that's cool. It's got a little Wookiee coming out the top. Um, so yeah, I have done one before. And I did this one, it went like 80% correctly, and like, I almost had no issues. I think I cut one piece in half, had to then use super glue a little bit, but we're going to try to avoid that today. Um, so yeah, I have the only tool required, some of these, little cutters, be careful. Um, but yeah, so this is recently released. It retailed for $45. Luckily, I have the hookup at my local comic and game shop. Uh, they know I love Star Wars, specifically Maul. Um, but yeah, and so they let me know this is coming out and just saved one for me because supposedly they were hard to come by. They are fully customizable. They're paintable, so you can make it any clone you want, which is the real cool draw to it. And they're about the same size as the uh, six-inch black figure series. So will still look with the rest of your black series collection sorry i gotta put mando back on his shelf i have an entire shelf over here with just comics and star wars figures and superhero figures and it's the one nerd shelf that i allow myself mainly because that's what happens when you live with somebody you don't just get to have <laughs> full shelves full of the stuff that you want which sucks but it also keeps me from hoarding a bunch of novelty items but this is one that i had to have Oof. we are already off to a bad start y'all hang tight while we adjust here we're gonna hit that brb sorry for doing this so soon to y'all
So the crisis was averted for the most part. Sorry about that. Uh, I am a Diet Coke fan. And when I stood up, my headset knocked over the pan on my desk. And the last thing I need is any of my equipment getting damaged from Diet Coke. So, uh, I'm sorry about that. I hope you were able to, to stick through. Try to make that as painless as possible. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and switch over to this view, which I just set up, rigged it up today. It's the first time I've ever tried this, so it's gonna look a little janky. I understand if there's anything I can do to make it better for you, you please let me know. I think that the image should be mirror, uh, should be good as in like uh, your ability to, to view it uh, should be okay. I'm hoping. <laughs> If for some reason things are backwards, or if you need any specific uh, any specific changes, please let me know. I'm all about trying to make this the best looking stream for the viewers. So definitely let me know if there's anything you could think I should change. Like I said, I rigged this up last minute because I didn't have necessarily the equipment for this. Hold on. Pascal, come here, buddy. Come here, puppy. So for anybody who is not aware, I do have a dog, Pascal. Normally my partner's here to help me watch him, but he's not. Uh, he's barely new miniature schnauzer named Pascal. Um, but this camera was originally bought to be a puppy cam eventually, so I could switch to puppy view. But at the moment, we are going to use this second cam to show you the build. All right, let's go ahead and switch. So let me know if there's any issues. Um, you can type in chat just to keep me aware, but I'm gonna assume it's all good. I'm assume what I can see, you can see. So hoping that's a good thing. So we got, first thing, we got instructions. 112th scale plastic model kit. Put there so you can see it. cool stuff <laughs> I'm new to this I've never done a build on this yet I this is a new channel anyway so everything is kind of new on this channel so then we got all the pieces we got three individual packs and then we have some stickers stickers are gonna be the thing that are gonna be the hardest for me but yeah we got our individual packs and the instructions should be in here they start weird though because they start here on this panel in the middle, and then you flip. So I'm gonna do my best to make these able to be seen by me. And let me know if that music is too loud too. Not that you need to hear me for this, but just in case. Well, here's the puppy cam. Ugh. Oh, he moved. The second that I moved, he moved. He was in the middle of the floor chewing on an antler. I promise. I'm gonna go out of studio view. Cool. All right. So, it says the first pack I need is B1 and C. Okay, okay, okay. No, so I don't want this one first. I want A1 and B1. We're gonna keep the box to put uh, little pieces in eventually. Cause that shit's gonna be everywhere. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna go ahead and start opening. Ooh, and while I'm here, let me make sure I mark that I'm live.
All right. Well, <laughs> I think Twitter just screwed me. Sorry, y'all. All right, now we're like, cool. Now we can do this. Sorry for this background. This uh, is a Magic Gathering play mat. I had my special death one, which is a Bleachers one. Uh, if anybody doesn't know the band Bleachers, I highly recommend you check it out. Spelled just like it's uh, the regular word, B-L-E-A-C-H-E-R-S. Uh, the front man is Jack Antonoff, who I'm sure you've heard of. Famed producer of a million different pop artists. Country artist now. Uh, he did Taylor Swift's folklore with her. Like she, he's all over the place. But his music is phenomenal. Definitely check it out. But that's what you would have seen. It's a nice white background for these pieces, especially some of the darker ones. Um, but that got soda all over it. So we're here with magic. And sorry you have to see this. Normally, uh, I try not to bite my fingernails every once in a while when it's stressful and anxious times, which holidays, family, don't get me started. So, bear with me. I know they're not pretty. Let's see. So we, the first one we need, oh, we got a little sticker piece. Do not lose that. We don't need this. We need a one. This is a two. Then we need B1, B2. Alright. So it says A116. That is here. Oh god. Do I need a smaller pair of these? I'm always nervous with these things. I've only done it once, but I'm always worried that I'm gonna cut like a piece of the piece off, not where it connects, you know what I mean? And sometimes you get those rough edges. I hate those. I just want it to be perfect. And of course, these are not for precision, so I'm not going to get that little thing. Oh, well. Hopefully, it's not an issue. And then we go B123. I believe that's this little thing. Luckily, we don't really have to worry about these things early on. It's with the smaller pieces more. All right, so... This positioned this way, this positioned this way, slides into place. Luckily they gave me a room to fuck up there. All right, now we need B21. I'm sure some people probably like take all this off beforehand. I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna have to like dig for pieces. I assume that this is the best way, honestly. So that you're not like 
to here is where I know I'm gonna spin this a little bit. Yeah, um, it's got a little tiny. I don't know if you can see. This is not the best webcam. It's like a spin the lens to focus. It's got these little like things on the side here that I'm always afraid are gonna pop off. Sorry for the squeaking also, that's my dog. Do you wanna take that out there? Just gotta be good, all right? So this piece connects to the back here. It's gonna go facing down. Oh yeah, and it even says don't use the little cutters on these little pieces because you don't want to cut them off look at that if only i read that first luckily i didn't do that so it goes on this way all right Cool, first little thing done. Let's see. Next we need B21, 26 and 25. Do not use the cutters, it says. On this little piece, it's another one of those little side pieces. Success. All right. So black piece facing up. These pieces go down to the side like this and they will wrap around it. As such. All right, this is the base of the helmet. It's really bad lighting. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna focus, so we're gonna go up here. I'll show you here. This one does autofocus. Look at that, a little base of the helmet. <laughs> awesome. All right, now we need B24 and A7, A17. Thankfully, this moves fast. That other one, so many tiny pieces. Like, this one still has tiny pieces, don't get me wrong. But that thing, the ATST, whoo, stressed me out. I might have to go get, I have a smaller pair of these. 24, 24, 24. Ah. I think that's this piece. Does it say not to use? It does not say that. But it also, don't need them. Look at that. And it says A7. Five, six, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, five, six. Seven. All right. So these two pieces go together with the fin on this one. I don't know if you can see the fin. Uh, it's gonna go backwards. This piece goes facing this way. And it fits right in there. Okay, easy enough. Then we take the actual fin piece, which is B122. Sorry, I'm gonna have one headphone off so that I can hear if my dog is doing anything he shouldn't be. Ah, it's this little thing. This is stressful. All right. Got the fin. Is it pretty? Meh. Yeah. But we have it. Here it is. So we are going to, it goes facing this way. It just goes straight down onto the helmet.
Oh, that thing wasn't even on all the way. There we go. I was wondering why it was so loose. So this goes... This goes down on top of this. Like so. You gotta really push on these to get that snap. All right, we're going A2. So we need the other sheet of black pieces and it is A2, 44. It's a little breather piece on the mask. It is A2, 44, so that's this one, that's 44. Then A2, 45, which is the lens of the mask. trying so hard here y'all all right so that's the lens that's 45 and then it says we don't want to take that off yet we, it says b1 20 and 27 all right so we're gonna do 20 Ooh, this is a very fragile piece this is like the pieces that i broke on the other one that i had to glue together that's 20 and 27 is this little number. I'm so confused. What does that little thing mean? There are these two little lines on it. We're gonna go ahead and break it there. I'm hoping that's what it meant. It's a very small, small piece. All right, so we're gonna go in order. A244 goes straight to the back. Yep. It locks in here somehow. have nimble fingers I don't have big hands I don't have small hands I'm very much in between which means my hands aren't good for much <laughs> let's see all right this goes straight to the back oh shit Why is the helmet not I don't know if you guys can see this there's a gap there right here and that is not supposed to be there oh shoot uh my chat is going fucking insane Who is all, who are all these people? Wanna be famous. Oh wow. Y'all, they want me to they want to know if I want to be famous. Oh my god. Uh, I'm flattered, but no thank you. I wish my mod was here, not out of town. Pardon me while I ban all these comments. Sorry about that. Had to get rid of all those uh, spam comments. 
It's always exciting. Hold on one second for me. All right, just got to double check on the dog. All right, here we go. This is why you gotta double check before you put your pieces together <laughs> that they go together. <laughs> Here's where we're gonna see my abilities at course correction, which are not great. Woo! Okay, well, that didn't work. Hold on one second while I get some needle nose. He wants to play. Started to get vocal, which is fun. That's the thing that sucks about these little plastic things. You really gotta make sure you do every step right, because then you end up in a situation like this. Anything you do will bend all the pieces. Pascal, what is it, buddy? He likes to bark when he can't get to his toys. 
It would be cute if it wasn't annoying sometimes. <laughs> did the one thing I said not to do, which is break a piece. Literally just broke the fin. Luckily, it sits right there, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. But it's just a fun fact. Let me see if I can get
All right, so I got it as close as I could to being done, but not not great. As you can see, there's still a, a gap in the uh, in the helmet there. But you know what? What's the Steven Universe quote? If all pork chops were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. It's a clone. There's some with defects, right? That's the whole idea behind the Bad Batch. So, uh, maybe we got a semi-Bad Batch, right? He's not fully there. Alright, we're gonna continue and hope that that doesn't hinder us too much. And we're just gonna try better, uh, for the future. Alright, so Visor goes in. Got a good tight sill. Yup. All right. White visor goes on. A little mouth guard goes on. All right, and we have a clone trooper head. Not bad. I mean, I already made mistakes right at the start of the video. So, I mean, we can't go anywhere but up, right? That's my thought. All right, let's see. So now we're going to start on the chest plate. All right, cool. So it's head, chest, then we do arms and legs. So chest plate starts with pieces from the A2, which is this one, and then also from the, the PC. I think that's this one. It says we need A234, which is this big bad boy right here. All right, we got A34, it's gonna go on this way. We need PC9, which is this thing. Oop, that popped right on out. So nine. We need eight for the other side. So these are the ball joints. So this is fully posable, which is the really cool thing about these. And then 11. All right. So PC eight goes here. I'm so confused how these fit in here. So this goes in here like this, I guess, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. This little piece goes in here. They show it like this. So do I push this through the back? Oh, yeah. Oof, let me make sure before I push that all the way through. Let's do the other one.
is such a weird i've never made anything with these kind of rubberized joints ball joints Tightly fits the parts as far as they will go. All right, we're trying. Sorry if this see the top of my head. Not using my play mat. Yeah, I already explained. Uh, right at the beginning of the stream, we had a Diet Coke incident that rendered my uh, desk uh, layout a little bit unusable. So we had to do a quick switch up. All right, we're gonna assume that that's good. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the A1. I believe it's this one. We need 12. I like how they had to make me build the blaster here too. I'm looking at these blaster pieces like, why couldn't that be the one thing that I didn't have to assemble? Um, And then PC set. This little guy, I think, right? Doesn't look exactly like, oh, it's because they combined it, obviously. Hold on. My dog likes to bark when his Toys go under things. All right, so we got P7. Let me shut this a little bit. Hopefully keep his noise out there. Now it goes up with a little tip going up. And this piece like this, I guess. And it should just snap into place. Yep, so this is, looks like it's the neck joint. So this slides in here, cool. So then we need A1 35, which is the other half. And then B1. Ooh, the box is getting flimsier and flimsier. B1. 30. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry, I think stuff fell down and hit the wrong button. So, we're going B1 30. This little half Lego looking piece. Apparently, there's tiny, tiny, tiny stickers that I don't know. I don't even, nobody's fingers are small enough to put, it wants me to put stickers on these tiny, tiny, tiny little, you can't even see, it's not focusing, these tiny little circles. What? Absolutely not. All right, so it goes in it this way. Yes. And then this fits on here. Somehow this comes together. We don't know how. Does not make sense. Does not compute. sure this time we have we have a tight seal everything is working the way it should there's no 
these pieces. Perfect. All right, we got a little chest. Whew. It definitely stressed me out a little bit. So now we need B1, 31, and 32, which is just the front and the back of the chest plate. All right, so, so this is the back. I guess it wants me to put the stickers on now. What are the stickers going to even look like? Because I really don't want to do that. That sounds awful. Ugh. I'm not ready for sticker application. Let's see. It says it's from sticker pack. I think it says six. What did it do? Oh my gosh. I need to stop dropping stuff on my keyboard. This is what happens when you don't have necessarily the space to accommodate the thing you're trying to do. Like I said, this is all makeshift. <laughs> All right, so it says sticker six. So yeah, it wants me to take these tiny little circles right here. These tiny little things and put them on one at a time. I will attempt. No, look at this. I can't even get the stickers off. No! Wait, hold on. Wait, what? We're, we're double checking these real fast because that thing says water decals. Oh, we're not doing water decals. The other one is the stickers. So there's a sticker sheet or water decals. Uh, we're not nearly good enough to do water decals, so no thank you. We'll pass on those for now. I'm sure they, they they make it look nicer, and I'm sure with like painting and everything. Look at this. I don't have nails enough to even like pick these stickers up one at a time. They won't even... It, it, it doesn't... It doesn't stay on. Y'all, I, I got the little thing. It won't stick. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where is it? Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh God, say it ain't so. Here we go, y'all. We're about to get real accurate up in here. I think the backing is still on it. Oh, and I dropped it. Oh God. This is why I wanted that white one. Um. Ah. Uh. Thank God we found it. All right, I was gonna say I'll move on, but why move on when I can torture myself? I was to try to squeeze the little plastic coating off, but I see that that did not work. All right. Wait, did I do it or no? Oh, I did it and then it went back on. Okay. See, we got two different dots now. This one has the sticky side on it. This thing is the paper. So. Boom, we have a dot. 
all that work for a dot. Shit, that's two stickers. How did that happen? Three dots. We're killing this. Hold on. I can tell when you're doing that thing, Pascal. He has a fun habit of biting the Christmas tree lights, but not to bite the lights. He likes little uh, plastic pieces that hold the lights to the actual branch. But you know, there's no good part of the lights for a dog to chew on. So, all right, go lay down, go play, go do something. Well, not to put my dog on blast, but he's a little horny. All right, the last of these tiny ass stickers for now. in here with me. Do not bite my expensive wool socks, dude. These are the one pair of socks that I actually spent decent money on. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> As you can see, we officially have four dots. For anybody wondering, my dog literally just spun my chair. He's teething right now. We just I just found one of his teeth on the ground yesterday. He's losing his baby teeth. Go out there. All right. No, he's like, oh, no, nope, I'm in here. I'm chewing on your socks now. All right, here we go. Dude, go. <laughs> there you go, dude. All right, so. Go back on, front on. Click, click. And there we go, we got a chest. Not mad about that. All right. Now we need B1 again. I'll put the sticker kit over here. Uh, that's A2. 
There's B1. So we need B1, 28, 29, tiny little pieces. These little things. This one is 29. <laughs> I do not want to forget because I'm sure they have to go on specifically. Yeah, this one goes on this side. The little shoulder straps. See, I'm waiting for that click. I don't know if you're hearing it, uh, but I'm refusing to move on until I hear clicks now. <laughs> All right, we have a little vest. Now for his tiny little waist, we have A2. Let's go, bad boy. And we need 51, 52. He's doing it again. He said, you let me out. I'm gonna chew on the Christmas tree. Hold on, Pascal. He's actually chewing on his toys for once. I shouldn't have stopped him. <laughs> All right, we're going to move this out of the way. Push this back up here. All right, so it says... Can I rip these little... Not you ripping USB cords. Come on, dude. You know better. The new dent. Cable management has not been set up 100% correctly yet. So. This is 52. It goes up. The other one goes down. This slides into here. Click those bad boys to get there. Make sure you hear the click. And examine for any flaws. Now this is the top and this is the front. And this goes in here. It looks like you just push it straight in. Yeah. And then you got a movable waistline. Look at that. Everything's overexposed. All the whites. I'm so sorry for that. Let me see if I... Mess with some camera settings, shall we? I don't know if that's any better. I hope it is. I'm not the best at messing with camera settings. I hope you can see a little better. He's hearing somebody outside. Come here, bud. So yeah, we got the chest piece. Then it says... Hold on. Pascal. Helmet goes straight onto here. I'm gonna definitely have to glue this piece there <laughs> so it doesn't come off all the time. But 
now we've got a clone trooper heading towards us. It's cool. All right, we're gonna leave this right up here because we're gonna work on his underwear now. Pascal. He loves tweeting that thing. Oops, somebody else is live. I just got a notification. All right. We're going to go to the A2. We're going to go 32. And then it says PC6. There's two of them. So I assume we're going to do this twice. Front and back of the underwear. If I guess correctly. Alright, so. Underwear goes this way. This piece facing... This way? this means are we stacking this ah I think I get it now all right so this piece goes on here like this it says put on as far as it'll go the other one will also put on that's what they really should have told me is they kind of just wrote the same piece twice and showed it different ways and i need better instructions i need use both pieces <laughs> all right so if it makes any sense it's basically making it so that these things are lined up so that they can be the uh the things for the legs Look at that, we figured it out, we got there. Then we need 12, which is this little number right here, which we're gonna spin off. And it says, pull facing upward, put it in here. And then we get A2 again, and we're gonna go for this 33 piece. And we're going to close the loop. And then it says check. Looks like a green lantern symbol. I don't know if it's coming across, but it looks like a green lantern symbol there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That's all good. We're gonna click, inspect. Now we've got these little movable leg joints. That's really cool. I'm super impressed by this, honestly. All right. Flip the page. All right, now we need B1. Then we need 18 and 19, which are these big underwear pieces. Ooh. This is where I'm going to freak out because something's going to break and I should use these clippers, honestly. Is it bad that I don't really use them to clip? I just use them to kind of pull it away. All right, so 19 is the front part of the diaper and it goes on the two hole side. is the back end of the diaper 
And it goes on the one whole side. Boom. We've got connection. It looks pretty seamless to me. Then we go accessories. The best part. We're going to go B11, which is this piece right here. This tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. I was going to say, I really don't want to cut that piece. So we go for this one. We go a two. And we go for 49, which is this little thing, this little belt piece. Nice. So from the front, the belt piece goes on here. Yep. And this little guy goes facing up in this little diaper hole here. Yes. Before I push that <laughs> this guy all the way in, I wanted to make sure that the diaper does indeed go facing up. The other thing I want to do is wear this thing down a little bit. It wasn't lying flush, which I don't like, but we make do, right? Oh well, it looks good. I'm confident. He says unconfidently. So we go back to B1 for some more accessories. We're going for two and three. These make the little uh, pouch on the back, the little fanny pack pouch usually has, I think it's a health pack in it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure we saw them use it in uh, Rogue One. I'm not 100% though. Then we use four and five. So this one is five and it goes on this side of the butt. Interesting. Oh wow, they like gave these pieces interesting little grooves in order to make sure that they slide onto his butt. Let's see, so this piece sits like this, right? And then this piece has that face down and you push them together and they make the little pack on the back. That's gonna go here. And this bad boy goes here. All right, his butt is done. Now let's go to the front again. We're going to the A2 section again. We're going for 57. Uh, let's see. Got it. 57. So if we're looking from the front, 57 goes on this side. And it goes 58. Then it's 50, which is this one. Oh God. Pascal, hold on y'all.
Sorry, you couldn't hear me. Uh, so we just clip him on. His butt's all done. It's like fucking Batman. And... We move on to the legs. One at a time. First is the right. It wants us to take PC pieces. Five. I assume we're going to do this for each leg. So that's five. We want B2. All the way at the bottom of our pile. It wants us to take B254. We're going to leave this out because I know we're going to be back to this. This is all the leg and arm pieces. So this is 54. And then A1. Ooh, and Pizza is sending me discounts. Um, A1. 21. This little thing? Yeah, okay, there's two of them. So again, we'll most likely be coming back to this. Let's see. So B2 facing this way. A1. Goes in here. PC5 goes in here. All right, so this is what it looks like. Nice. Now we just take B256 and we clip it together and we got a thigh. Alexa, is it raining? Oh, it sounded like rain outside, it's crazy. I have the blinds down though, so I can't hear. I mean, I can't see. All right, click it together. Check. It's got no seams, no major seams at least. Just got these ones where if I had some sandpaper or something, I might sand this plastic down, but it might look rough. But that's the point of these things, right? They're always going to look a little handmade. That's the idea. So there you go. We got a thigh. Now it says PC pieces one, both of them. And A1 piece four. Now, with the piece pointed out this way, we're putting each one of these, which are identical on both sides, so it shouldn't matter. One facing up, one facing down. I assume this is the knee joint. Then we take A1, three and we cover that knee up tight then we get a two again piece 60 oh that's a one all right uh well piece fell out Gotta remember that that is piece 47. Um, what are we looking for? 60. This little boy. Alright. Another one of these ones that I'm like terrified. It's gonna be super hard to get. Oh, he got his antler in his bed. Moments like these that I wanted to have the puppy cam for. But now, I'm using the puppy cam, so. Alright. I'm gonna have a little bit rough. Just from that leftover piece of plastic from the sheet. Alright, so we have the joint. This piece goes on the front this way. Then we need B2, 45. Is 
Oh my god, this thing is just a little half circle of plastic. And I am terrified I'm going to break this thing. Always try to wiggle them off though I can. Always cut as a last resort. Deck Garen popping to say hi. Can't stay long because Comcast made his back, but still unhelpful. I really hope that he deals with that. That's uh, for anybody curious. His internet's down. The dude came by to fix it. Turned the whole thing off and then left without saying anything. So left this man without internet, which is ridiculous, but hopefully everything went well. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, David. So far, if you're still on, this is what we got. We've done uh, a torso, a diaper, and a head, which I'm still upset about because I couldn't line these pieces up straight together, and it only it only bothers me because, like, from the front, who cares? Nobody's gonna see it, but it really bothers me. Anyway, we're lining this piece up now. This goes around here. All right. I'm always amazed that people can print like this. Any little plastic pieces like this. All right. We've got a knee. Um, so we have a thigh, we have a knee, and now we're building the bottom part of the leg. We need B2, piece 57. And we'll need 59 eventually. So we'll take that off now. We're also gonna need PC 17. I think just one of them though. All right. So this is obviously the front part. This is the back part. 17 needs to go in here. Just fits straight into this little wedge right here. The way he's chilling there makes me nervous. It makes me think he's about to pee. So what we're gonna do, puppy, well bless you. We're gonna do this leg. We're gonna hit BRB and we're gonna take you out to the porch so you can. Nope, nope, not so you can do that. Pascal, come here. No, no, no. He is not happy with me or something. Look at him, he wants to play. He's ready to play. All right, let's see. So clamp these together. I think we're done, right? Boom, boom. Then it says, mash the pieces together. So this leg part goes here. Pascal, no. He loves ripping our rugs up. Pascal. And, well, who would have thought? We have a freaking leg, y'all. Click it into place still. I keep forgetting. Pascal. Pascal. Come here. Come here. Come here. So we're going to go from B2. We're doing the foot now. We need 43, which is the actual foot piece. We need 51. It's another one of these small rings. Looks like it goes for the heel. And then A2, uh, which is this one we need at the bottom of the shoe, which is 31. So, 
This piece snaps onto this piece by pulling up, it looks like. Yep, so you leave it in there so it's like buckled. Which is cute. Like has a little movement to it. Oh, I have it. Did I have it on the wrong side? No, that was the right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has a little bit of movement. Then you put the sole of the foot on. Maybe. It says put the sole of the foot on, but does it actually mean to put the sole of the foot on? Deep questions. All right, so we got the shoe done. One shoe complete. Now we need PC20, which is here. And we need B249 and 50. So, 20 goes in here, B2 closes around it, cool, now we got a foot and ankle joint, we're going to slide the black piece into there, and we check before we keep going, as the instructions remind us. Oh, we're not ready to click it in yet. Oh wait, yes we are. So we snap the foot straight in here. Oh, no wonder this all looked weird. I was doing it backwards, there we go. That's, <laughs> there we go. Now we got a fully movable leg. Not bad. We need A1. We are going to use A1, 6, and 5. Which are these pieces? Let's go. Oh, thank God. I thought I broke the piece outright. I just broke part of the, uh, the, uh, little grid. Ooh. I'm not paying attention. I need to be paying attention. And then I need PC4. All right, so we got PC4, which is smaller on one side, and we want that side to be there. We have five, which goes this way. This goes into five. A16 goes on top of that, and closing it. Check check put it on now what we have a joint all right y'all i'm gonna be real fast it should be less than a couple minutes just to make sure that i come out to pee
So, luckily, I was right. He did need to pee. And he's been really good about not peeing inside, but he still likes to dig up on a rug. I mean, I know why. Only natural. But we're going to confine him a little bit to this room. So now we're going to do exactly what we did again. And we're going to make the companion to this piece. So we're going to go B2. That's A2. We need B2. We're going to take 57 and 59. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong piece. No, 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 no. We want B2, 53. Oh, gosh. Oh, I broke another piece of the frame. That's fun. Yes. I'm trying to get out. He doesn't like being trapped in here. All right. We're going to go there. We got both pieces out. Now we need PC5 again. And we need A1, 21. Pascal, Pascal. Sometimes you gotta go to his uh, sex drive. He loves something that thing. Push that piece in there. We're gonna push this piece in here. Awesome. Then we close it up. We make sure that it is closed up. We wanna get those seams as tight as we can. All right, put it aside. Now for the second knee joint, we're gonna go P1. P1. Then we're going to go A1. Piece 1. And we're going to go ahead and take 2 off as well. And just leave it to the side for now. Alright, so we got piece 1. We're gonna put these bad boys on either side. They are basically the same piece. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which. Then we're gonna snap this bad boy. Hold on, I gotta put our rug back down. I don't know if you can see it. Going ham. These are the, uh, for anybody interested. Right now this is a rug placement at. These are the, uh, Let's put that right there. For anybody who did not get me, those are the uh, ruggable rugs, which are great for pets. I recommend them 100%. Uh, if they pee on them, I mean, you can spot clean it or just rip the whole thing up and throw it in the washing machine. Plus, if it ever gets old or messed up, you just buy a new topper. You can keep the same base you have, which is really nice. You don't have to buy an entirely new rug and it's way cheaper. And you can buy rugs for like seasonal rug. You know, like I don't want to be that kind of person, but like if that's your thing, it's way cheaper. <laughs> and easier to store than a real full rug. So I highly recommend it. They feel good, they lay flat, oh, it's nice. But if you do have a dog, as good as they are for dogs, they will also, I need A2. They will also, if he is, is like mine, mine's a digging dog. He loves to dig, he loves to tug. He will dig it up. Not like a bad way, but like in a, he wants to get underneath it. As you can see, he's at it again. <laughs> We're gonna go 59. Cool, and we're gonna go B2. Get that little back band piece again, 46. Oop, it took a little piece of the plastic with it. So now we will need to use the um, little cutters on this. 
just to cut off that little piece to make sure it lays cool. So this piece goes on the front with the pointy end face facing up. This piece goes around the back. It's gonna go in just like this. And those end pieces snap into the front of the knee. Or at least they should. He's relentless. He's tired and doesn't want to go, doesn't want to admit it. I tell, I, I, I can't. I can't go bite your antler, buddy. You're having so much fun with it before. All right. Fun. You got the little knee joint now. Now we need B2 again. We're gonna pull these bad boys off. Little shins. Pascal, no. Pascal. Come here. Really just gotta redirect them. And PC 17. Pascal, no. Pascal. It's the tag. He loves, loves, loves tags. Hold on. Again, you gotta redirect. Now he's gonna bite that corner. Made a mistake. <laughs> no better. All right, so we're gonna connect these pieces. to the bottom, wait for that. Up to the top. Cool. We got a leg, now we just need a foot. We're gonna go back to B2, pull the other foot joint out, pull the other ankle thing, the this is not the ankle, it's where the ankle meets the, the shin. God dang it. <laughs> this little dude. Normally I'd put him in my lap, but this uh this thing, this little project doesn't really allow for that. Alright, so we got everything we need for the foot. Put these here. So yeah, it goes all the way down over that. Interesting. And then we snap this piece into place. If it would be so kind. Thank you. 
All right, we got another foot. Now we just need the joint. Oh, he's laying down again. Thank the Lord. See, like I said, he's tired and just doesn't want to admit it. We're gonna go B49. B50. We're gonna take PC20, which is here. Take this little thing because I see a bunch of these are still on here. And I don't want those there. I want those down as much as I can. If there are any modelers, like who not professional, I don't know if this is something you do professional. I don't want to knock you if you do, but if there's anybody who does this way more than I do, or like has done this a million times and has any real tips, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. I might get another one to do this again, not necessarily on stream, but just because there's so many different clones. This is the reason that um, the lady, the employee that I know at the um, shop recommended this to me was that since they're paintable and they're the same size as Black Series, you can pretty much make any clone trooper you want. Um, which is really cool because they don't make a Black Series figure for every single clone. Again, this is way easier than the uh, ATST that I did. That thing was tiny pieces everywhere. It's really cool how it turns out, but like, oh my gosh. Definitely took a minute. Is this gonna click in there? Thank God, let me pull it out because that is not the way it was supposed to go in the foot. Wait. Sorry, I'm just confused because it's showing the left leg, but it shows the foot going the other way. And so for a minute, I thought I did these backwards. I was about to be really confused. Now we put it in the foot. All right, I just wanted to make sure before I click it into place. Dude, their sneakers are fresh. Nice. All right, we almost have two full legs. Now I just need PC4 again. Whoop. And A1, which is this one. No, this one. And we need five and six again. So that was five. This is six. So we're going to take five. We're going to pull it. No, we're going to take six. Six, six, six. I'm going to push it this way. Try to end out. Yep, yep, yep check it for any seams nope the legs look good we're gonna shove this bad boy here all right we got two legs now we put them here maybe we gotta get his little stump down further nice Oh, he's got no hips. Dude has no hips. That's sad, dude. Well, look at that. We got a little clone trooper with legs, no arms. I'm gonna put this guy right over here. He's gonna chill. Nice. Oh, so cool. Uh, 
Alright. Sorry, I got dry lips and I'm having to not try try and not bite them. Very difficult. Not gonna lie. Alright. We're going arms. We need PC ten. Both sides look the same. Should not matter. Now we need A1. And we need pieces 24 and 23. So we take the big piece, we put this piece, on the top part, going up, we take this piece, we cover it up. Now we got this little shoulder joint. Nice. Now we need B2, piece number 42 which is the shoulder cap. And we need A1, 22, tiny little piece. So we have this piece here, we have this tiny little thing, which goes in like this. Yes, okay. And I have a little shoulder piece with this little black piece in there. And we just slide it down. Okay. Slide it onto the shoulder. And it becomes, I assume, yep connected there's the little cap oh and it raises oh shoot so it raises with the arm that's smart okay and then we move on to the next piece which is the little bicep cuff we're gonna go b2 38 we're gonna go a125 We're going to go PC14 Aha It's another one of these little square things probably gonna have to just slide it in here so this is this we take this we take this little this little weird guy the small end going in and it just fits right in this little hole here then we take this little square matters much up there then we're gonna get b2 for 39 39 39 <laughs> that's not b2 39 yep, yep, yep. we're gonna go with the pointy part up we're gonna combine the two check the seams plastic overhang but we look good we put this aside with the shoulder next is a1 we take 27 
guessing we're going to want 26 out too. So we're going to put 26 up here. I need both 13s from the PC set. Yep. Yep. So this is the elbow. So we're going to take 27. It goes angled down. We put one of these on each of these holes here, these little tubes. And then you cover it up. Because they slide on, you want to make sure you get that tight one because you might not have slid them over enough. That's perfect. We're going to go back to B2. We're going to grab piece 47. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. I don't know if you see, it's this tiny little semicircle here. Oopsie, knocked everything over. And we're gonna need B2, uh, I mean uh, A2 as well. And we need piece 56. There's this little number right here. So we're gonna take the little joint we made. We're gonna make, looks like we turn it to the side. This piece goes face with the pointy end down and it slides into these grooves here, just like that. And then this piece has the longer end on the left side and slides into the other sides of the grooves to meet that one. Cool. And now we got a little elbow piece. Now we're going for the forearm. So we need B2. We're taking pieces 35 and 34. Oh my guy's little fin. Oh, poor dude. All right, so B2, 35, 34. So this is 34. That's the secondary piece. 35 is the main one that we're going to use. PC 15. There's this weird little like nub cap. You can see that. Also, sorry if this thing has gotten tilted over the course of this video. All right, so we're gonna take the forearm with the little nub cap facing down, put it right in there. Cover it up. Yep, now, now we got this little opening where the hand's gonna go in there. As you can see, it's like where the little calm stuff is on their wrist. And now we just snap it all together. So the forearm facing the back goes here, here. Then we put this little cuff on here. I want it to snap into place, but I don't want to break it. All right, and then we got this one. Yeah, it says this one's supposed to snap, which it did. Okay, so now we got the whole thing here. Cool. And now we get to choose if we're going to do open hand or closed hand. Okay. I'm going to go... I think I'm gonna go closed for now. You can always add 
later, right? So we need 38 and then we need 53 from the A2 panel. Cool, cool, cool. So it goes with the little U shape up and then your hand goes down and you just click it on there. Looks like they made enough to go with all the hands, I think. So you don't have to like take this little piece on and off all the time, which is nice. You can replace the hands, which I think is really nice. And then you get that option with the Black Series. So we're gonna put the hand on. Look at that, we got an arm. You're gonna put the little shoulder into place. We got a right arm. We're gonna shove this right up here and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're so close to being done. Only two hours in. All right, so we're gonna go PC 10. This guy. We're gonna go A1, which I already have out because I've been using it like crazy for this one. A1, 23, 24. 24 is the one that I put it in first. So 23, Got it. So this base facing down, we're going to push this piece in here facing up. it up we got another little shoulder now we just got to get the two pieces to make the little plate which is a 122 and piece b2 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 piece 41 gonna put the little whoop. <laughs> it's gonna go with the little half circle side inside there pointing up there we go now I got the little shoulder piece again sorry the thing is moving all right slide this down All right, snap it into place, and we got us a shoulder. One fourth. B2, we need pieces 37 and 40. Yeah, 37 and 40, interesting. This is again for the bicep cup. We're gonna go piece A one fifty. 
25, 25. This little small boy. And PC 14. So we take this piece, pointy end. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, this one. So this piece, pointy end up. We're gonna put the little piece here. We're gonna put it, see it has a long end on it. We're gonna put the long end facing us, the, the small end facing inside, and it goes in this little hole there. Just keep pushing that until it don't push. Take the big little square one. Just push it in there. Cool. And then we take this, the other pointy end up, and we just press these together. Check that seal. Take off any bits that need to be kind of smooth if necessary. Just kind of scrape them up. There we go. All right. Got one more piece down, two more to go. 1313 from PC. This is gonna be for the elbow. Then we need from A1, we need 2829. All right, so. Need these two pieces, 28 is the one with the tubes on it. So you're gonna take these little pieces and you're just gonna put them on top of that tube as flat against it as you can. So you have one piece going up and down. Once again, this is just for that elbow joint. Then you're gonna cover it up with a 29. There we go. Now we need from B2, 48, which is this other, I forgot about this tiny, tiny, tiny little guy. Again, I don't really necessarily cut if I can avoid it. I just push it in the direction that I want it to go. And then from A2, we take piece 55. Awesome. Scrape off some of those edges that we don't want. Cool. All right, so we're gonna turn it so that it faces the, the curve of the knee faces to the left. This piece goes with the pointy end down and you're gonna slide it into these little grooves here on the side. And then this one, you're gonna go on the opposite side and slide into those grooves as well to meet that first piece. And there you go, and then you got the elbow. Awesome. Last piece is the forearm, pretty easy. It's gonna be B236. And 33. 33 is the second piece to go on, so we're gonna put that at the top. And then it's PC 15. So I'm just gonna check, make sure there's no real nasty edges. It's gonna keep us from doing anything. So again, it's this little tube piece. Sorry again for my hands. I put lotion on to try to <laughs> make them look less gross. Um, <laughs> we put that one piece in, click this together. We build the arm. So forearm, pointy end away. The pointy end down on this side goes straight down. There you go. This piece should snap. This is the um, the uh, bicep piece. Pointy end with the little design in the back. That's gonna go on the back. And you're gonna push it in until it snaps. It should be solid on the front. Awesome, we're choosing our hand again. 
which we chose last time the fist so we're going to maintain the fist again we can mission match and i'll show you those in a minute we're going to use this hand we're going to use piece a254 same thing as what's on the other hand a white piece a white shield again you're going to find that u on the piece if you can see that i don't know um yeah and you're gonna have that facing up you're gonna have the fist facing down if that makes sense if you can see how it's oriented in my hand the fist is facing down and i'm just gonna meet these two pieces you up fist down you got a cool little hand then you just combine them put the hand in that little hole on the bottom we put the shoulder piece up here until it goes all the way flush. I don't know if you can see here. Hold on, let me push that back on there. I don't know if you can see, but it's not focused, but there's a space here between the, this black piece where you can see the table. You can see like where my hand is. So you just wanna make sure you push this all the way down so it goes flush and you hear that click. Got a second arm. Check it, make sure you got everything on there. Everything looks good. Nice. And then we're just gonna attach. You're gonna put them in the little holes that you got in there earlier. You got full range of motion. And there we go. We got a stormtrooper or a clone trooper. My bad, my bad. He's not a stormtrooper. Fights for the Republic. Now, fun stuff. Blasters. We go for the A1 panel. We go for 13 and 15. We merely squeeze them together. All right, you would think that's done, but it is not. We also need number nine, this tiny, tiny little thing. This little piece, tiny little thing. It's got a little lip on the edge of one side. All right, now you merely put this little piece. This is the, the, the cap, the, the uh, goes on that barrel. best guess is that this is like really what holds this gun together All right, last rifle's almost done. We need piece 14 now. This little square thing. I really wanna get some of that like little extra from the little sheet there. All right, so 
we orient it with these little grooves facing up those go toward the front of the gun and you just slide it right on here Then we can do the big gun, which is A1, 18, and 19. Now this one, I really don't want to break this gun. It's long and it's kind of flimsy. So we're going to be careful. Nice. Smush them together. Same thing we did before. We get that tiny little piece from Ken. to put this little guy with this he has, it has this tiny little lip which I doubt you can make out but that goes down to the bottom of the gun nice nice we're almost there now we are still now we're gonna go to a2 we're gonna pull pieces Forty-two, no, not forty-two. Fifty-three, fifty-four, forty-two, forty-three. Okay. Ah, it all depends on which. Oh, interesting. So you can modify the gun for left versus right hand, and I just knocked this again. I do apologize. This is all new. We have not done this before. So there are Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got you. So this is if you want to use the gun hands. So there is a special trigger finger one. Now this is interesting because it's a two part. Like the Black Series have finger pointing ones for like the ones that have guns, like my Mando for instance. But you can't, you have to kind of just like really do your best to shove the gun on their hand. There's no real easy way to get the gun in the hand. This one, you separate the front of the hand from the back of the hand, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean here. So we have two parts for each hand. And we have, which parts go with it? 53, 54. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so. That was 54. 54 goes on the left hand. The left hand is this hand. Yep. 
Yes. Okay. So, as you can see, so this is the right hand, this is the left hand. It has a pointer finger. And that is about it. So what you would do is you put the gun in the hand with the finger through the trigger. And then you use the other end of the hand, whichever hand that might be, and you close it around the hand. <laughs> so now the hand is part of the gun, and then you just shove this into the hole where the hand goes. It would replace this hand. Which is interesting. It makes it way easier to put the guns in the hands. The only thing is... What are you supposed to do when you want to take the gun out of that hand? And you can take the wrist off, but it's really hard to separate the hand. I'm trial running with this one. I really shouldn't have put that one together until I knew it was possible. Okay, it's possible. It's not hard, but it's not easy. You want to make sure you don't use anything heavy duty because you do not want to put dents in it. Because this is a very small piece and it's going to be very likely to... Oh, and then the gun it makes it easier to just wedge it out. But you don't want to, um, obviously, bend any pieces. It's going to be really hard to reuse it in the future. Oh, follow up to the Comcast story, apparently. Yikes, the dude just didn't fix their Wi-Fi, just left. David, I'm really sorry to hear about that. He came back and didn't do anything. And then left again. Fucking ridiculous. All right, now. <gasps> Ooh, all might not be lost, y'all. I can build it. You build a second helmet. So, this, what you see here, is the phase one clone trooper. Now, they obviously have a very different look for the phase two, and I didn't realize this comes with both. You get the choice. So, we're gonna build another head. This time, we're gonna build it right. Trust. We need B1, 17, 16, and six. And six. And then we need A1. And we need A1 17. See, this thing is fully customizable, y'all. That's crazy. I didn't even realize. Well, I just cut off a important piece, so already made a mistake. Lovely. So you gotta be really careful with these things. I hate using them. I'm hoping that the rest of the thing, it's one tiny little, if you can see it, it's one tiny little stand piece, and I'm hoping I can get around without having to use it, but we'll see. So. These pieces go here.
So I've already messed up a little bit, but luckily... Not terribly. Hold on, y'all. Hello? Sorry, important little call there. Can't get this piece to fit in the way I want it to, and it's frustrating. Yeah, I'm refusing to get that same seam in the head. So far, it looks better. I'm very happy. All right, check. It says check. There's a little thing there to remind you you're supposed to do that. All right, now we need B1 and A1. I need A1, 8. I need B1, 13. And I need B1, 15. This little half circle thing. Exciting, because they don't have a fin on their head, they have this little circle. So this goes here. I'm gonna push this straight down. Nice. Now this piece goes face up. This little gray piece goes face up into this helmet piece, clicks down to the bottom. There you go. You click this down here. This is the part that, this is where it's supposed to connect to the part that I broke. Broke though. So let's see. Will it do it without that piece? Yes, it will. Thank the Lord. All right. Now what we put. The little mask piece in, so we're gonna use A2, piece 46. Ooh, thank God. And B1, piece 12.
All right, so 46 goes in first. This is the lens. Got a nice perfect fit. Got a little white covering goes on top of it. Oh, look at this beautiful clutch. Love it. Then we go A2. And it's P47, which I already pulled. That goes on here. Nice. Then we go back to B1. We go for piece 14. It's a little bubbly piece that encapsulates. Yeah, goes this way. It's gonna be tilted down. Sorry, I gotta scrape a little piece of the, the frame off. It's keeping it from going flush. All right, we got a <laughs> we got a helmet, y'all. Nice. Now we go for the little accessories to the helmet, which is stuff like the macro binoculars, which are B1. So this is for the binoculars. So it's either that, the binoculars, or these little covers. So on these little pegs here, you can either put the binoculars on, which would be like that, or you can put these little cover pieces on, which would fit right in there. So we're gonna leave these off for the moment before I decide what I wanna do with those. Then we set up the base, this whole frame, dead. This whole frame still got hands on it. Let's take those out. These are the open hands. If you want to do open hand for your guy, this would be like if he's standing just, you know, straight up. Maybe he has one hand on his blaster, uh, on the trigger and one hand underneath. All right, so left hand goes this one, or the right hand, oh, my bad. The left hand gets this one, so we're gonna put these with the hands. So we have hand options, which is freaking awesome. All right, so this is where we're gonna start needing these things. So for the base, we need to pull from A1, which is this bad boy, we need 20. Oh, look at this, okay. This thing is on here. Nice. Now it comes with this big base piece and this other piece. I don't know what this is for. Ah, to connect the two pieces together. That makes perfect sense. Somehow I brought a little bit of the base with it. I don't know how the heck that happened. All right, we're gonna put that in there. Damn, they really freaking connected this base to this. All right, so the base goes in. 
This piece goes in here. Oh, you drop it in the top. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Or you could clip it if you just want flat. Interesting. Oh, there's separate like base attachments that can uh, be used to, what's it called? Um, prop the guy up from his back, which is nice. And this little extra piece is there so that if you already have something, you can connect the two at their base with this little piece here. And now they're together. That's kind of cool. We're gonna leave it separate for the moment. All right. So I have all the pieces off of this thing, I think. Yeah, we've, we've done did the thing. All right. So let's give this thing a final walkthrough. Let's see how we did. So, this thing. All right, so we have the phase one clone done. Face hands, he's got movement, and I'm going to get you a sale, a skill, uh, for those of you who don't know, star of the um, Force Awakens, Constable Zubio. So see, it's about the same size. Let me get one that's more of a person size. So here is Mando. So yeah, it's pretty much Black Series scale, which is incredible. Very happy. Uh, let's see, let's switch the head. There's a little head joint. There we go. And then if we really wanted to, put these little bad boys on there. Now he's got the scope, little micro, uh, macro lens or whatever they called it. Let's see what they called it. Macro binoculars. And then let's say you want to replace the hand. Boom, boom. Well, first, we need to put the gun in the hand. We put the hand on him. We're gonna give him that hand and we're gonna give him the open hand for the left hand. I want him to be sniping. back and make sure aha we did miss a piece I can't believe I did that I'm gonna say this don't look right so it's on a1 and it's piece Ah, piece 11. There it is. It's this little piece that goes on the back of the blaster. Right here, in fact. All right. I also need to 
Senhora. Can put him in his little stand. Give him somewhere to kind of hang out. We can make him do uh what's it called? I will say, this is a little more fragile than a Black Series, especially to pose it, you gotta be careful. So definitely be wary of small pieces falling, but it's such a fun build, such an easy build, and for something so maneuverable, I'm really impressed. And the fact that you can make it any clone that you want to make it is incredible. I kinda wanna go for um, the Ahsoka face. Clone Troopers. There you go. A little blaster rifle action. Or... You can always do a little like... He's just holding it, getting ready. If that's the case, we want this thing to not be on. We're gonna put these little bad boys on. Whoopsie. Just for the final touches. There we go. I think we're going to give him the plane blaster because, I mean, iconic. Am I wrong? Try and tell me that I'm wrong. I want to do a, a quick flight. Trying to outgun somebody. Stop right there! It's so weird posing him facing down. Let's try. Ooh, this is my favorite part. It's just like the posing, how they get to stand. Yes! Absolutely everything! Love it. There we go. Just a very simple. Trying to make himself wide, make himself menacing, even though he's just fodder. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. I'm going to switch up here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking through the constantly changing camera. I'm sure that this has been uh, of great annoyance to many of, well, to anybody who's watched or is going to watch. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you checking this out. Uh, this isn't something I would say to expect a lot from me. Um, I might try more things like this, but uh, I got this the other day, the, like a few weeks ago, and I've been meaning to put it together, and I thought, why not do it on here? see if anybody else is interested um so if you do like this and would like to see more let me know um i saw a lot of cool sets that i could build always willing to add cool stuff to my collection uh and yeah um if you haven't already please hit that follow button it helps me out a lot uh and it let you lets you know when i'm posting uh or going live on twitch uh and if you don't follow me here you can definitely follow me on twitter which is at mike rocker 68 uh, I post most of the uh, up-to-date stuff on there because I don't have a uniform schedule yet. So that's where you'll know ahead of time when I'm going to plan on going live. So definitely follow me there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Thank you so much. <laughs>